I have got something special for you today. This is a Lazara LSX 67. Now, the thing with Lazara is whenever we look at one of these, there is always a wow factor, and there absolutely is with this, and I'm going to show you that. We're going to do the full tour on this one. I'm going to point out, just as we go past, a couple of things. The anchor is completely invisible. It actually comes out of the front there. So this section lifts up like this, anchor extends, drops into the water. A couple of other things I like. This hull, this is not a GRP uh, colour, this is actually painted. So it's a proper paint finish on here. And I love the stainless steel bar they've put down along here. And look at this teal finish that they've put in here. It's a really eye-catching boat. But the wow factor comes at the end. So stay with me. I'm going to show you that. We're going to head on here, do a lap around the boat. I'm going to do a slightly different route than normal, just because I want to save the wow to the end. So we're going to go forward, take a quick turn around the decks, and then we're going to head on in and show you what this one is all about. So we've got the big windscreens across here. Of course, the screen covers are on at the moment, so you're not really getting the full effect of that. But yeah, massive windscreens across there, and there's a sliding roof up on the top as well. We've got this entertaining area up here on the bow sunbathing as well you can see how clean the look of this is even the cleats a pop-up cleats it's a really sharp looking boat look at the woodwork they've put into this handrail along here as well that's fantastic we'll come back down this side we've got up on the top the satellite domes the radar navigation kit that sort of stuff and then i'm going to take you inside and show you what this is all about. Okay, cockpit area here. This is not the extent of the outdoor area though. <laughs> Bear with me for that, it's impressive. The TV that comes out of here, we've got barbecue over here, and then we can prod this button. And this takes us on and in. Now this fella here is controlling all the lighting, the curtains, all that sort of stuff is all controlled from there. So this has got power blinds along here that are in up position at the minute. This is what they look like when they're down. There's a TV that rises out of here. We've got the seating area where Maggie is taking it easy over on this side. And then we come forward a little bit further. You start to see some of the detail in here, like, look at this. Keeping your glasses all nice and safe. Isn't that lovely? Fridge in there as well. Love the detailed finish on here. And then this is the sliding roof section that I mentioned when we we're on the outside. You can see obviously the big windscreens here. We've got the covers on currently, but you can imagine the kind of view you get out with those taken off. And then these really nice helm seats over here. It's actually got two quick stabilizers on here. That's what these controls are for. It's IPS, so we've got joystick control. We've also got bow thruster as well. Engine controls are here, and the multifunction display is across here. But we've also got a bonning system. So that's this fella currently displaying engine instrumentation. But we can touch the little bonning sign at the top in the right place. There we go. And then we can get into all kinds of stuff on here. So we could go into generator, for example. And you can see the start stop for this on here. We can go back to there. We can go into, um, what else can I show you? AC power. And that tells you, obviously, that tells you voltages and frequency and all that kind of stuff. So everything is controlled from there. But there's also manual backup to that, which I'll show you in just a second. Steering here, of course. And then if we come over here, in fact, I won't show you in a second. I'll show you right now. Check this out. This is all manual switching for everything that's controlled on that bonding system and more. So that in the event of anything going wrong with that, you've still got full control over the boat because it can all be controlled manually, <laughs> as you'd expect from a manual system. Even the generator control you can see is here. So again, you can, of course, operate it all through the bonding system. You don't need to. Galley is down here, nice little snug down here as well. Look at this. That's a lovely area, isn't it? I'm gonna show you under the floor. This is very Lazara. So if you look underneath here, This is all proper plumbing in here. It's not just hoses, it's proper plumbing. And if we come back a little bit further, it's 
so things like water pumps in here and this is interesting this is the water tank built into the boat but they put two senders in and the senders are linked such that it's reading from both of them and as long as there's no variance between them it'll give you a reading but the idea of that is that if a sensor goes wrong you'll start to get disparity and it'll alert you that something has gone wrong with that this one here if i can open it with two hands and holding a gopro yeah there we go that's giving you access to things like the water maker it's neat isn't it anyway enough technical stuff let's press on with the tour so yeah galley here usual cooking and um, dishwasher and this kind of stuff you expect to find in there we've got tv in here as well if we go on forward then vip guest cabin is up here another thing i want to show you actually just while i think about it is these doors because they've all got automatic closers on them like that normally with boats you open this and there's like a magnet or something and they clang against the magnet these have stays that simply clicking to place like that and if you were to go out to sea and not shut that door and the boat started bouncing around on the waves obviously normally that would just be crashing around this one won't because when it releases if it gets knocked and releases it just simply closes itself and then you're done same on all of these so we've got the shower on this side that's separate to the heads and that is over on this side like so and then here you've got lighting controls air conditioning controls that sort of thing AV equipment in here this is all storage of course dotted around in places like this and we've got hanging locker over here like so there we go okay let's press on back down through so it's a nice little atrium area is kind of here, isn't it? It just opens it all out a little bit. We'll press on back, again, air conditioning controls, again, controls for lighting and that sort of stuff for this area. And then back here, day heads is in this one. Like so. And in fact, that one also links through to that cabin, which is cabin three. And I'll show you that one here. Nicely done, isn't it? Again, wardrobes, drawers down under the bed, and that's that door that takes you back through. Now, there is a small, like a captain's cabin over on this side, or perhaps an overflow cabin. It's pretty small. You've just got a single bed that runs back underneath here, a bit of storage under the bed, wardrobes here, a bit of storage up here. But as I say, for a captain's cabin or perhaps an overflow cabin, that's absolutely fine. Okay, are you ready for some wow factor? We're going to go back to the owner's cabin. And this made me go, wow, I think it'll do the same for you. Check that out. So we're right at the back of the boat now. Now the cockpit area that we were in where we went through the doors into the saloon, of course, is up above us, up here. Directly above us, in fact. So this is on a lower level. We're now at the beach club level. And this is just dramatic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. We'll take a quick turn around here and show you all of this. There's a dressing table over here. We've got drawers. I'm going to point out the finish on the inside of these drawers is identical to the finish on the outside. Sometimes you open these and they're just like a laminate inside or um, just, you know, a basic finish on the inside. Not many people finish that the way they finish that. Drawers here again, all same kind of deal. Storage everywhere, you get the idea. And then we'll come right on around. There's a little seating area over here. So I'm going to tuck yourself away with a proverbial good book. But isn't that an absolutely unbelievable cabin? Just fantastic. Big hull windows as well. So your view out from here, well, that's like that. Nice. Door here and um, <laughs> tour here. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know what that slab of wood was. I'll edit that out later. Same deal, all on the self closers but this takes you into the, um, into the ensuite. It's been a long week out here in Fort Lauderdale. This is the last boat I'm filming. In here then, oh, I've just <laughs> set the toilet into motion, so I've just got a sensor on it um, that raises that one up. Shower in here, 
one shower, rainfall shower, there's a window with a blind, a bit of shelving. All very splendid, isn't it? And we've not had a mirror wave. There we go. <laughs> okay, back out of here. I'm going to take you out and show you this aft deck because this is wonderful. So if I get that button there, little prod. That does that. And then these great big steps. Oh, hello. <laughs> So if I get this button here a prod, and then just head straight out like a normal person, we'll find ourselves out here on the aft deck. Now you can see that there's this section here on this side. This is actually a drop section, but clearly we're alongside the key, so that's not been dropped. But when you do, it looks like this. And what a wonderful area that is. Look at that. And it's a kind of private area in a way. Obviously you can use this. You've got steps down from the main deck, so anyone can come down here and use it. But it does make a lovely zone in the morning, doesn't it? To come out of your cabin, straight out of here, straight into here. That's fantastic. This is the drop section. So you can see how that would lift up flat against here. And if you come right out here, you can take a look down the side of the boat. Look at that. That is spectacular, isn't it? Just fantastic. Okay, last thing to talk about then is the engine. So there is a uh, drop platform here. You could put a tender on there. Possibly wouldn't on this style of boat, maybe a jet ski or something. And in fact, you've got these little lockers here so you can put the chocks for that away if you want to. And then finally, we're gonna show you the engines because my compass has just pressed the appropriate button. And this is doing this. I mentioned she's on IPS drives, that puts the engines right aft and that's what gives us all that space for that amazing layout. Here we go. And what we've got in here is a pair of Volvo Penta IPS 1350s. So they're a thousand horsepower each. And they're giving this boat just over 30 knots, about 32 knots flat out, cruising at 28. And then your range at that sort of speed, you're going to be in around 350 miles, somewhere around there. As ever, with a planing boat, drop the speed back to displacement speeds, so you'd probably double or even triple that. But that's the sort of range you're going to get at that sort of speed. These are the IPS pods down here. Obviously, they go down underneath the boat. And you can get right down onto that centre track there and walk down between the engines. There we go. That's fantastic, isn't it? OK, we'll power that one back down. You can see there's a smaller access hatch there, so you don't need to get all this up every time we're just doing quick checks. You've also got a camera in there as well. You can see it down in the centre right there. And that's about it. I think we will come back out of here, take a wander around. <laughs> Let's let that one go back down. Fantastic. And that, my friends, is about the size of that. I promise you some wow factor, and I think we delivered, but let me know in the comments what you think. Massive thanks to Lazara who set this up. Massive thanks to you guys as ever for watching, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.